Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and uh, welcome back to Super Mario Bros. 3. I don't know if I started talking too early just then. Um, I hit the record button. Anyway, um, this is World 5. Uh, we're going into the sky area. Um, we start off kind of, you know, some of the levels early on are uh, on the ground, and we'll slowly make our way up into, uh, up into the air, up into the clouds. Which, uh, means lots of places to fall, basically. Uh, chain chumps, um, I believe these are the, oh, I missed the star, that these are the first appearances of, uh, the chain chumps in the Super Mario Brothers series. Um, they would become, uh, regular enemies, say, I'm not playing with this. These little mini piranha plants, well, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, a lot of these levels are, are shorter than I, uh, than I thought they were originally. It's been a while since I played it. Oh yeah, now, now the uh, spade panel's in a little bit more appropriate place. But like, I'm gonna remember this, you know, from how long ago now? Yeah. Whoa, that was kind of odd. <laughs> um, that was really odd for it to uh, appear twice. Um, now I just, I just did this. Anyway. Um, God, I'm like zoning out here right now. I don't know. The sound kind of just cut out for a second. I don't know what's up with that. Um, and I usually, anytime like something weird goes on when I'm recording, I'm always like, I, I point it out in the recording and then uh, it turns out that once the video is all done that the very event that I said uh, happened isn't showing up in the video so god I'll just shut up about that now um there the right there was an interesting um, thing that can, you can do if both you and that enemy gr should grab one of those white blocks at the same time you know one block you each will actually grab one so that you know the one block becomes two but they will throw them at you obviously if you're not quick about it I usually don't fall down into this area. I usually climb up to the top using like the uh, the music notes and whatnot. Crap! I think the audio is gonna be like a little desynced on this video. Something really weird just happened. All right, desynced audio. I'm having all kinds of problems when it comes to recording lately. Um, yeah, this is. I'm gonna have to like, probably like turn the game volume down because. Yeah, this is going to suck. Anyway, um, I'm just going to go on. I'm going to ignore it. Pretend it didn't happen. Um, what else is going on? It's like pouring rain outside right now. But um, it's one of my days off, so so it's all good. Um, oh, this is the level with um, Karibo Shu, or it, as they call it in the virtual console version, Goomba Shu. But it was originally called Karibo Shu. Um, it only appears in this one level only, uh, and there it is. Um, you can stomp on anything um, when Mario is in this shoe. Spinies, piranha plants, you can jump on all of them. You know, there's another one in case you should lose it, but... Yeah, I, I don't think there's any place where you can, you know, if, if you bounce on enough enemies in a row you get a 1-up, I don't think there's any areas here where you can do that. Well, except for right there, but that's not what I was talking about. You know, how often do you get to stomp on piranha plants, you know? That doesn't happen too often. I'm trying to think of another time when it does, and I can't even think of one. Spinies, too. Oh, uh, these little black piranha plants down at the bottom of the screen there, those guys are indestructible. There's nothing you can do to, to, to kill them. <clears throat> I'm really annoyed about the audio, like, being out of sync right now. That sounds really weird. Um... It's like I'm, what I'm watching on, you know, on my screen and what I'm hearing on my headphones is completely different. Anyway, it's a few seconds off, but whatever. Um, I got the fireball, so I'm, we might as well take out the uh, Hammer Brothers. At least these are just like regular Hammer Brothers. You know, they're not uh, stupid Sledge Brothers or well, any of those other Boomerang Brothers because... As I've said for like ten times now, I hate the Hammer Brothers. 
but at least the regular ones are a little bit more manageable. Oh, Leaf. Want it. So what else we got? Oh, yeah, let's try and get some extra lives, you know. <laughs> Fail at this game some more. See, it's like every time a, a row passes underneath, like, you know, you pick your top row, then as the next part passes underneath in the middle row, that's when you hit the button, and it'll line up. You do the same thing for the bottom, and it won't. I, I, I don't get it. You can fly up through these blocks. Um, I'm probably not going to bother. I'd probably just end up taking a hit. What's the point? Yeah, no, what's another thousand points, right? Me and points. Good grief. Uh, no, well, that, that was just stupid. Just, oh, and that was even stupider. <clears throat> this one's tricky. You've got to, like, leap outward and, and trick the uh, the thwomp into falling. But then you got to make it back to that platform, too. Ah, boom, boom. Again. No big deal. So, what else is going on? Um, I had a couple errands to run today. I did that. Um, I, I, I did something I normally don't do. Um, usually when I go into a parking lot, um, this is the, uh, the area, the old tower that's going to take you up into the sky. Um, usually when I go into a parking lot, I just immediately park toward the end of the parking lot, you know, f farthest away from the building that I'm going to be going into, because I don't want to deal with people who are, like, obsessed with trying to find that parking space that's, like, one spot closer than one that's open. It's, it's so silly to me. By the time you, like, drive up and down the aisles and, and try and find a closer spot, you could have already been parked someplace else, out of your car, in the store, or wherever it is that you are, while you're busy, you know, farting around trying to find a, a spot that's, like, one foot closer than uh, the previous one. Um, but I, I don't know what possessed me to do it this time. I I actually drove up one of the aisles trying to find a spot when I could have just, you know, pulled in at, at the, the back of the parking lot, I guess that's what you would call it. Oh, these blocks have got coins in them, too, and uh, I don't have uh, the raccoon tail, so I can't get them. Um, but I did it, and I just, I, I was just reminded as to why I don't, because <laughs> you've got people, like, waiting for a spot. They'll, like, sit there and wait. There's people that will actually wait when, when I'm leaving, you know, waiting for my spot. It, it, it's so, s <laughs> what the, well, that wasn't good. <laughs> um, yeah, now we're up, in, now we're up in the sky, so there's a lot of places to fall. Um. I don't even know where I'm going with this story. I'm just saying that if you're actually, like, you know, in a parking lot, in your car, and you're, like, waiting for... What the... Are you freaking kidding me? Give me a break. Uh, okay, let's try, <laughs> let's try this again. Um, I don't know. There's just something wrong with you, in my opinion. You know, when, there, when there's clearly other spots that you could park, but you're waiting for my spot because it's, like, you know, it's, like, three spots closer than the one that's open. You know, you're wasting your time sitting there. You know, who said... And, and then I feel pressured. I feel like I've got to, like, jump into my car and hurry up and, you know, get my seatbelt on and start the car and back out because somebody's waiting for it. You know, I feel that pressure, you know, of, of somebody, like, sitting there watching and, and waiting for me. It, it, it's ridiculous. So, to, to all you people out there that do that, get over yourselves. Go find another parking space. And, and and go on with your life and, and stop imposing on me, basically. Because I, I know there has been at least, uh, you know, once or twice in my life where I've actually sat there in my car, knowing full well that someone's waiting for the spot, and I'm just being, you know, stubborn and bitter, and I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna cave into their, or I'm not gonna be rushed by somebody, I'm not gonna be hurried by someone who's just too lazy to walk an extra, you know, two feet. <laughs> Wow, where'd all that come from? I'm going to shut up about that right now. That was a little mini tirade there. Uh, anyway, we're continuing through the air levels. Um, we got some donut blocks here that are probably going to fall out from under me. Um, Fire Chomp. There's a new enemy. 
Oh, well, that was a lucky jump. Um, <laughs> I don't think I could have been any closer to that plant. Um, yeah, fire chomps uh, make their appearance in this game uh, to make your life miserable. And a lot of these uh, levels at the end, uh, Lakitu is there. And if you wait for him to throw four spinies down at you in that black area at the end of the level, you'll get a one-up for it. Sometimes it's just not worth waiting around, though. Uh, more items from Toad. I should probably clear out my inventory a little bit because you can only hold four rows worth of uh, of items. Well, yeah, let's waste my time on this game again. See, here's what I'm talking about. No, fail. I, it, it, ugh. And since there's like two uh, mushrooms going back and forth, it seems to me to be easier to get the mushroom, and yet I always end up with the flower. It's like no matter when I hit that button, I always end up on the top row with the flower. Music box is useless. I'm just going to get rid of it right now. Because it's just clogging up the space in my inventory. Uh, it puts the Hamburg Brothers to sleep, like I've said before, I think. Might as well just get rid of it. Uh, these flying beetles. Um, you can stand on them. Uh, that makes for some tricky jumping. Uh, I've, I've heard other people say that they really don't like... Uh, they don't like these beetles, they don't like trying to maneuver around the, the stage on them, but I've never really... Oh, I shouldn't say it, but I've never really had a problem with them. It, it's more of these uh, musical note blocks that I have a problem with. There should be... Oh, well I can't get back up there now. Well I could if I jump from there, but I'm not going to. It'd make this whole thing with the fire chomp a lot easier. Anyway, let's see if we can't get a one up out of lack of two here. There's one, there's two, three, and four. Bingo. Oh, get some more stuff from Toad. Um, what else is going on? What else have I been thinking about? Um I think also the, 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 the phrase, you know, have a good day, uh, and now obviously that's something that without even thinking about it, I've always said at the end of my videos, um, but, you know, out in, you know, the real world and, and whatnot, I find it almost kind of silly to wish a total stranger, you know, I hope you have a good day, have a good day, you know, it, 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 this probably sounds terrible, but what, do you, what, what does someone care whether I have a good day or not? What, what does a total stranger at like a convenience store or a grocery store, why do they care if I have a good day or not? I mean, it's a nice thing to say, it's a polite thing to say, but honestly, it's kind of a silly thing to say. And I probably shouldn't talk about this too much, because like I said, I, I say it at the end of my videos. It's just something I did, you know, during the first few, and then it kind of stuck, and I've been saying it ever since, but... And, you know, I mean, ultimately, I hope that people out there do have a good day. I mean, I, I am sincere when I say it, but... Well, now that was just silly. <coughs> oh God. Um, I don't know. I, I think I was thinking of it more in terms of my line of work. You know, when 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 I have customers, you know, at my job, um, they're already not having a good day. I mean, I mean, I work at an emergency clinic, and they're there because there's something wrong with their animal, and they're already not having a good day. So for me to say you know, have a good day when they leave is kind of silly to me, and it's almost kind of... Oh, come on, stupid potaboos. Potaboos, potaboos. How do you pronounce that? I think I had that same conversation back when I played uh, the first Super Mario Brothers. I think it's potaboos. Um, so yeah, so for me to, you know, say have a nice day to somebody, you know, at my job is... is I, know, I put myself in their position, you know, if somebody said that to me, I mean, I appreciate that they're trying to be pleasant and they're trying to be nice, but at the same time, I'd be like, you know, dude, you know, I, I'm, I'm at an emergency clinic with my animal, you know, uh, I don't think I'm going to have a good day, you know, I think it's kind of too late for that, you know, oh, just go, go, there we go. 
So I don't know, it's one of those things that... Nice thing to say, but honestly, in reality, when you really stop and think about it, 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 it not all the time, but there are some times where it just doesn't make sense to say it. I guess that's what I'm—that's where I'm going with this. I guess. Uh, more goodies. As we all know, the bottom three are mushroom flower star. So there's mushroom. Uh, no, oh, but we know where the star is. It's right there. And fail. Alright, here we go again. Uh, again with the flower. Let me try something different this time. But no, still, fail. I don't know. I might have to look into, uh... At some point, be like before uh, I record the next world, uh, look into um, if there's any kind of trick to that. Um, there's gotta be. There's, you know, there's. These games are so old and they're so popular and overly played that um, people are just steeped in, you know, tips and tricks and for pretty much any given situation. What a ridiculously short level that was. I mean. Not complaining, I guess, because this video is already up to uh, six, 16 and a half minutes. Oh, yeah. I'm probably looking at a 20 minute video here. With desync sound, no less. I'll see if I can do something about that. If, if I find out that it is messed up, I'll try and, try and fiddle with it. Oh, this is kind of a diagonal scrolling level. Um, kind of interesting. Um, all you're really going to have to deal with is a uh, two fire chomps, which is enough to deal with when you're trying to focus on getting across these platforms. I've never been good at jumping on these guys. Yeah, see? I've still got the second one to deal with yet. Uh... I lose you just to ignore the second one because here we are. Not gonna bother with a one-up trick from lack of two because uh, I'm little Mario and I'm not playing around with that. Okay, so uh, let's use a power up to go in here and we are at the castle slash airship of the final of the final world. No, 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 of the fifth world. <laughs> Of the fifth world, I'll be all right. It's the final level of the world. You know what I'm trying to say. Don't judge me. Don't be hating. You don't know me. <laughs> oh God. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Roy Koopa that's at the end of this airship, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe so. I, I really don't have anything else to talk about. I think that's kind of all that I had uh, going on uh, in my head today. Um, just enjoying a day off from work. Um, I know last time I said about all the overtime I was doing, I actually did take this Sunday off, um, which was yesterday. So today is my second of three days off. Um, you know, the whole Sunday thing, I'm not required to do it. You know, it's it's not mandatory. It's it, I'm doing it because I'm a good person and because I want the extra money, but... You know, ultimately, I don't have to do it, so I chose the uh, yesterday to uh, not do it. Oh, jeez, that's not good. Oh, and he does that shaking ground jump thing that like freezes Mario. Oh God! Sorry about this, folks. We get to go through this whole airship again. Uh. So yeah, so I took um. A, it seemed, I don't know how to phrase it. I took it. I took yesterday off. I took. Well, what the? What was I just doing there? What would you? <laughs> besides failing, you know. Besides that, what was I just doing there? Uh, I don't have many items, really. Uh, any good items, I should say. All right, here we go again. Take three. Let's actually get the mushroom this time. There you go. 
so yeah, so I don't know how to, how to put it, I took a day off, you know, even though technically I wasn't required to work, but I have, you know, it's a day that I have been working on, but I don't have to, so would that still be considered taking a day off? I, I don't know. Uh, I gotta make some dinner, I'm starting to get hungry. I've actually got some stuff to make here, thank God. Because, like I said, it's really miserable out today. It's like, it kind of slowed down a little bit now. What the? Mm. The rain, uh, has, it, it kind of came through, you know, fast and hard and then uh, has stopped now, so. But still, doesn't mean I want to be out there in it. So I'm just going to whip up some dinner here. Okay. Come on, dude. Are you serious? For God's sake, I am speechless right now. I, I am rendered speechless. Here we are at the airship, take four. Um, <laughs> oh my God. You know, this really is the recording curse. It really is. You know, I, I just love how, you know, when that recorder's not on, and I think a lot of people can relate to this, that you play like flawlessly and then you hit that stupid record button and the failure begins I'm not gonna edit it though I'll keep it in keeping it real you know all right let's get through this area without losing my mushroom that'd be great crap 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 there we go all right I'm not playing around this time Roy or Morton or whatever, whichever one you are. I think it's Roy. He kind of looks like Roy Orbison with the sun, with the glasses on. Oh crap! Oh crap! Just hit him! Just, just. You have got to be kidding me! Do I really have to start editing some of this out? Okay, airship take five. Th this is lunacy. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. They say, I don't mind failing, but there's certain games that you just can't fail at. And this is one of them. <laughs> so this is just like... This is highly embarrassing right now. At least the airship didn't go all the way back down to the, uh, you know, the first half of the world. I think it... I want to say it's done that. I, I think I, that I've played this in the past where it, it's actually done that. And you've got to, like, go through that tower building, you know, all over again. Now, dare I say you have to do it backwards to get back down? I don't remember. But I want to say there was a time where the, the airship ended up flying back down to that first half of the, of the world. Alright. This is it. No, whole, no prisoners. Just there, and... Come on, come on, come on, just hit him. Just, just, freaking, come on, thank you. <sighs> I am sorry about that, what should have been like an under 20 minute video is now going to be like over 25 probably, 25-ish, something like that. Anyway, so we have finally got the magic wand to turn the king back to his normal self, and Toad is happy, and, uh... We're going to get a letter from the princess. Um, since we're going into World 6, the ice world, she's going to talk to us about, you know, how enemies are frozen in ice. We're going to find that out for ourselves soon enough. She gives us a cloud. Whoopee. Everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace. I'll see you next time.